In this video, I use a new OP anvil that can combine any item in the game. Subscribe to see if I can beat Minecraft in three, two, one. Welcome to the sub club. And guys, we're almost halfway to 3 million subscribers. That's insane. Thanks for the support. And here's the comment of the vid. As always, to be featured here, just leave a comment down below and let's try and get this vid to 0.5 likes. Enjoy. All right, guys, we are here in a lovely plains biome and right behind me, I can already see a cow and some sugar cane. So right off the bat, we can get the materials to create a book to get an enchantment table. But today, I'm not really concerned that much about an enchantment table. I mean, it'll be nice to obviously get one and, you know, get enchanted and stuff. But really, the, the obstacle is, oh, man, I'm sorry, cow, I'm literally punching you to death. Die! Oh, and he didn't even drop leather. <laughs> the real obstacle today is going to be making the OP anvil. So we're going to essentially need a regular anvil which is boring and we're gonna surround it with gold to make the op anvil and in this anvil we will be able to combine any item in the game so obviously i still want that enchantment table please get, give me leather please there we go so we have the sugar cane and the leather just in case but yeah basically items are endless and we're gonna use this to beat the game of minecraft and we have a village right in front of us yes oh my goodness and while i was breaking this i see a broken down portal over there so not only do we have a village, we have that as well. So if there are no chests somehow in this village, we'll at least get something. Come on, is there really no chest? Hey, there we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, but there is a blacksmith. Yes, yes, yes. We might be able to get like iron armor right away, which would be lit. Or we could get... Oh! <gasps> Three diamonds? Oh my gosh, yes. Bam! And now we have like a really good tool. And I know probably a lot of you are yelling like, why didn't you make a pick grazer? Well... It's because of the combining aspect, okay? I want a really powerful tool, and inside here we have a clock. I don't even think I've ever seen a clock in one of these, and we also already have three of the eight gold we're gonna need to make this OP anvil, so great start. And we have a cave right here, so we can start going right down, and ooh, that actually, whoa, look how far down that is. We will, however, need a bit more wood, so we'll do a wood mining session. <gasps> It's a huge ravine. Okay, and oh my gosh, there are spiders and skeletons and creepers and everything down here. Basically, a death sentence. Now, we already have 28 iron, and I know you guys are gonna hate me for this, but I have to get geared, all right? There's no way I go anywhere in these caves without doing that. And also, I wanna kill some mobs because maybe we'll be able to combine items with like mob drops and stuff to get cool, like, mobby items. Luckily, we only need the three armor pieces because we got the gold leggings from the nether portal. Those aren't gonna last long, though but here we go oh my gosh this is gonna be suicide this is gonna be suicide okay i just want to kill a couple spiders maybe get a bow combine a bow with like the sword or something or get some gold there is gold down here don't blow up the spider yes give me that string i want the string there are two skeletons that are fighting each other right now surprisingly that wasn't that bad and we have a lot more iron to grab so we'll use it and make an iron pig but we also have enough string to make a bow and we i think yes have enough to make the actual anvil itself so our iron hunt is pretty much over although i would like to replace these leggings at some point and look at that water flow it's keeping all of the dangerous monsters away and we have an enderman <gasps> okay we might want to try and kill we also have another enderman at the top there i don't want to climb those things i'm sorry guys i'm probably gonna pass up but let's go ahead and make this anvil real quick bingo so we'll put that at the top of our inventory and you know what just to clear some space we'll make this leather and sugar cane into a book so we just have it on hand but yeah as you guys probably know this is just a normal anvil Ugh. I can't like go in here and combine things with each other. I can't combine like a sword and a bow to make anything cool. So, well, we need to get a couple more gold. Get over this, beautiful. And here is the gold we seek. And the Enderman's actually right there. Hold on, let me grab this gold. And that was the two we needed. Give me that Ender Pearl, and he did. That's one of many. And we have a spider eye. Oh my gosh, we have a lot of things that we can use to combine stuff. Oh yes, pie creeper. <laughs> Goodbye. And we will craft the OP anvil in three, two, one. Ah, there it is. OP anvil, baby. So if we put this thing down, bam, it's just an anvil full of gold because it's like, it's an anvil of riches. It has like the rainbow name and stuff inside. But the first combination I want to do is a bow and a sword and... <gasps> Enchantment cost one? What is that thing? The Lancelot's bow. What does that mean? It's just fire at the land and- Oh my gosh! <gasps> it just bit a 
Wow, diamonds everywhere! Wait, but what did it even fire? Were those like diamond sword arrows? <laughs> 14 diamonds? I wanna kill like an actual mob with this thing, like this creeper right here. <gasps> Let's go ahead and maybe make like a diamond ax now. And you know what? I wanna use this and combine it with a spider. Oh my gosh! A widow's axe. Oh, hey, creeper. <laughs> what could I do there? <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a grappling hook! <gasps> I can use this axe to grapple places. Okay, so this is gonna be my <laughs> main method of transportation. Thank you, spider eye. This is gonna be one of the most OP things in Minecraft. I can just. <gasps> and if I shift right click, it just fires a bunch of cobs. <laughs> Dude, if you've ever wanted to be a spider like this in Minecraft, leave a like. Oh, magical OP anvil. What will you give? Oh my, what is that thing? A sword and an axe is a sword axe. Well, obviously, but look at this thing in my inventory. And what does it do? I'm actually kind of confused. Can it like hit any block or something? No. Whoa. Oh, what was that? Like a shockwave that gets sent out and kills like... Hold on, there's a bat right there in the vicinity. I'm sorry, bat. Is this gonna kill the bat? Oh no! But at least now I know I have a weapon that like will completely just kill anyone in my vicinity if I choose, so that's really deadly. We're gonna get rid of some of the scraps in our inventory here. I'm gonna put this here. This is gonna be my traveler with the grappling hook. This is my main weapon. This is my bow. Now, if I combine a diamond pick with a gold block, I get God's pickaxe. What does this do? Dude, these look so cool. This OP anvil is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in Minecraft. Okay, hold on. God's pickaxe. Do we have like a, a nice ore we can mine? Not really, but we do have an iron ore. Hey, iron ore, what can you do? Whoa. Hold on. Wait, does it give a stack of every block you mine with it? We are loaded if that's the case because hold on. I can just go over here, see what's over on this side of the ravine, find diamonds, grapple over to them, and wait a second with my god's pick. <gasps> no way. 64, 64, 14. Okay, well now we can get into full diamond armor easily. Get rid of all of this and we are no longer in any danger and we also have a lot more diamonds to just make more tools to do combinations with, because I don't even know, like, I, there's gotta be so much different cool stuff. Okay, I can't lose my OP anvil though. It's back here and normally I'd be like, how do I get out of here? But hey, we got the grapple hook. Let's get right out of this ravine. It's so cool. But obviously OP anvil, we need to know what happens when I combine the diamond sword and the diamond pig. We get the sword pick sharpness five fire aspect two. Okay, maybe this should be my main weapon. Dude, look at this stuff, man. And what does this do if I like use it to, whoa! Okay, we have a lot of gold and stuff now. And there are two combinations I wanna try right now. What if I make a golden apple? All right, hear me out. I use the OP anvil and I combine this with a diamond sword. <gasps> A sharp gapple? I won't eat that until maybe the very end when we're facing the ender dragon, all right? This will be my ultimate weapon against it. I'm getting a little carried away with this, guys. My inventory is literally like all these weird fancy items, but I also just want to see, can I combine a diamond sword and a diamond? I can! And it makes a sharpness hoe. Like, what is that thing anyways? I'm probably gonna need dirt and grass to be able to use this thing. Yeah, otherwise, because it's a hoe, it's literally meant to, you know, farm. So we might have to go up to the surface here. Wait a second, have I mined this? I get a stack of OP anvils! <laughs> yes! All right, here we are, we're on the surface. Now, what can I do with the sharpness so oh, I mean, uh, uh, We have an elytra! I'm gonna keep that. Did I get that? Oh, wait, what's this? <gasps> Cooked food? But it does these OP items and we just got a few diamond blocks. This is a really weird one, but I want to combine a fishing rod with a diamond block. Oh, OP anvil, what did you do? Rod of riches. What do we do with the rod of riches? Does it give us <gasps> riches? Is that an OP item right there? It's an unbreaking three axe. That's not anything compared. Look at the rod itself. It's got a diamond. That's another elytra. Okay, so we have a means to access OP items. And there's more diamond blocks. Okay, this is getting to the OP side of things here. And there's a pair of diamond leggings. Just got a freaking trident with riptide on it. Yes, sir. 
and we have an Electron. Whee! And of course, it just started. Wait, it just started raining. So we can just rip tide anywhere we want now. Uh, what is the like the chances of <laughs> that happening actually? Oh, but you know what? Every time anyone thinks about combining something, they think shield. All right, so let's combine a shield with something. If I want to combine it with a bow. Yo, what is that? Shielder's bow. Okay, we need some arrows to be able to use these things, by the way. Just because, I mean, these are the only things where it's like, I kind of actually have to go and kill skeletons, but it is is like getting night and it's raining out so we might be able to do that Here, skeleton give me your arrows all right what does the shielders board do get out of here oh uh okay it gives me a force field <laughs> for 10 seconds that just completely a blow my gosh every mob that touches it just gone forever <laughs> oh my goodness what happens if i use the oh no it does kill all the chickens <gasps> but you know what they dropped feathers i wonder you know what I haven't combined any armor pieces yet. Let me combine something with a feather. Let's see, if we make a chest plate. What will combining a chest plate with a feather give? What? <laughs> Angel's chest plate. We're gonna be replacing our elytra here. We already have another one anyways. And putting on the angel chest plate. And look at me now. And what can I do? I can fly! I'm an angel! But only for 10 seconds, we gotta watch out because we're gonna fall all the way to our death if we don't get down quickly. Hold on a second, wait, I need some wood, but is this? It destroys trees. Yo, it gives me wood. Bow plus obsidian. Oh, volcanic bow. We have an arrow. We can test this out. We shall do so on this creeper. Yo! It just fires a bunch of just lava everywhere. Hey, buddy, what you gonna... Oh, of course, the rain comes down and puts the lava out. Get out of here! A fire pickaxe. A pickaxe in a lava bucket. Oh, what does this do? Yo, look at this thing glowing in my image. I literally look... I don't look real right now. Oh! <laughs> Talk about... OP. Is this end city loot all over the place? The poor llamas, they didn't even see it coming. Wait, so this thing could just fire out end city lava craters? Yo, okay, so we can get pretty much the most OP armor in the game. We have Depth Strider 3 here. We can put that on. We have Protection 4 here. We can put that on. Protection 3, which is better than the Netherite I already have on. Oh, and we just got a bunch of Ender Pearls from the crops. Okay, I've just been milking these crops. They're really giving me a lot of good stuff other than the million of cooked food you see here. And as I say that, notch apples. And there's no longer a need for a bunch of of ender pearls and blaze rods because we just got the stronghold guide from the crops and it's this way so now we just need enough to get you know the amount required to, act to actually fill up the end portal which i think we might be able to get blaze rods from these crops and there they are blaze rods how many is this though it needs to be oh it's five we need literally one more okay so we can make a bunch of these we want 11 we need a bunch of pearls basically and uh well we don't anymore because we just got a bunch of eye vendors so we have 10 eye vendors from the crops now we could just pretty much use our flight armor and get all the way there uh i wonder if there's other stuff we could combine though i mean i'll see on the way there and wait if we take a fall from flying do we take damage no yes this is so p oh yo a slime hold on what if i combine something with a slime ball <laughs> come here slime do you have any slime balls please please drop some no. Are you gonna, yes, 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 yes. Beautiful, give me that. Leggings and slime ball. Ooh. Bee hopper leggings. Bee hopper? Isn't that like a Minecraft hack or something? Bee hopping, right? People say bee hop and stuff. <gasps> I'm walking on water. I'm walking on water as if I'm hacking. But what is an actual bee hop anyways? Oh, okay, well, it's combined with my flight armor. So I'm just, okay. <gasps> I can be up and then fly in the air with the combination of these two armors. Are you serious? This is way too OP and I can walk on water. I'm literally hacking. So I'll just start running toward the stronghold pretty much, I guess. And remember, we have this sharp gapple that I haven't eaten at all yet. I want to save that for the ender dragon, but I have no idea what it's going to give me. But hopefully it makes the- And there's the rain again. Can we take a second to appreciate my hotbar for a second? There is not one normal looking Minecraft item in there. And you know what I also noticed? A lot of these things don't lose any durability because I'm not actually using them. I'm just firing them at them. Like, did you feel the items everywhere? 
everywhere. Oh, and it's going backwards. So the stronghold's back this way, but we have a portal in front of us and we can just, you know, bee hop up to here and see what's in this chest. If we even care about it, there's going to be nothing in here that like is even remotely good. And now if we want to get it there in style, we could just fire a bunch of craters down until it took us all the way there. Or we could use the sword pick and this. Oh, okay. This probably would be the way to get there. And there are silverfish already. No, 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 no. I can bee hop out of there. This is so ridiculous. We'll keep going down. Is the stronghold in this region? Please show me where you are. And here it is. And there's a mine shaft chest. And okay, I might have to take off these bee hopper leggings just because it's too OP. Get, get, get out of here, silver. There's a multiple mine shaft chest. Just iron though. Yuckies and a golden apple, which is nice. But we have the sharp gavel. Okay, so let's find this actual end city room and this is a really cool stronghold it is literally interconnected with a mine shaft i don't think i've ever seen something like this before very very cool and here we are and wait i don't want to use any of these in this room just in case i never know wait can i just yeah i can just get rid of these silver fish though let me use god's pick and get rid of this it's not gonna give me the spawner and yes we have two spawned, which means the exact 10 we have is enough. I thought we were gonna have to look for another ender pearl in a chest somewhere, but we are good. Just in the nick of time, we're going into the end and we get the safest spawn ever. So we'll use the God's pick to just, okay, we gotta be careful though. We don't wanna fall into the void and we also don't wanna bee hop off the ledge, but I do wanna keep the bee hopper stuff on and the flight stuff because this way, we can just kill all of these things super easily. Hold on. What if I use the axe thing? It works. I can use this thing to destroy all the crystals. I can, oh, oh my. Oh my gosh, I just killed the ender dragon. I just killed the ender dragon with my sword axe. He's dead. Okay, that was the most OP thing. Uh, so what does the sharp gavel do? It gives us strength. I didn't even have to take it all the crystals. It literally took out the ender dragon just like that. So if I punch the ender dragon with this apple, it's like I have superhuman hands. Well, that's how you complete the game, guys. Using a OP anvil where you can combine anything of your choosing. If you didn't enjoy, remember to leave a like. I'll see you guys all again next time. Goodbye. Whee!